Hello, friends, and welcome to episode number 23 of She Thought She Could, So She Did podcast. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome, welcome back. Okay, I'm really not that cool, but <laughs> anyways, welcome back. I am so elated to be in your earbuds or in your car speakers or coming through your iPhone or your laptop, whatever device you are listening on, I am so excited to be in your ears okay it has been quite some time and i must admit that after excuse me after the recording of the episode with miss rayana where she dug deep into depression and anxiety and different things that um, plague our lives sometimes i just had a series of not only unfortunate events but uncomfortable feelings and confusion and dis just disalignment with myself so I had to step back I had to step back from a lot of things and I had to really repurpose myself and my life and my well-being thus stating I had to take some time away from the podcast because at this current time it is one of the elements of my business that I've told you before is fully funded by me I don't have editors I don't have people coming in and doing all of the technical things for me it is something that I do solely on my own and it's completely funded by me so it is one of the elements of the business that I love but it's not one of the critical and key elements of the business so at a time where a lot was going on and things were just piling up and I was going through some personal issues I had to take a break and that's okay because if you can't be something or everything or just enough for yourself there is no way that you can pour into others so taking that time was definitely needed I have loads of content for you for the next few months as we end 2018 saying that is so weird because I feel like we just just started 2018 but time waits on no man and so I am excited I am excited I'm excited and I thank you I thank you dedicated listeners dedicated followers dedicated people who tune into the lives I think um, as time progresses I'll try to do lives and podcast recordings at the same time to kill two birds with one stone um, and just to be more effective and efficient in my efforts but I must say I thank you I thank you for reaching out to me I thank you for letting me know how past episodes have impacted your life. I thank you for letting me know that you miss my presence in your life. I thank you for all of that because that positive reinforcement was a light in a dark time. Okay, so I want you to know that. So I challenge you today to just tell someone you're thinking about them. Tell them you're proud of them. Tell them you see them. Tell them something. Somebody that you know that is out there grinding, out there making a way, out there doing things to um, build their business build their brand build their career whatever it is take care of their children work on their families just reach out to them and let them know that you see them and that you are watching and that you just send some send some positive reinforcement their way because you never know how impactful it can be I know that oftentimes it really changes my life and my day there are a lot of things that can make us happy that are beyond the value of just money seriously 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 So, I'm excited. (laughs) I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. I am just overjoyed. I want to share with you some some triumphs that have occurred since our last encounter. I am now verified on Google. Um, Tabitha D. James is officially verified by Google. That was a major milestone this summer. Another major milestone this summer is my second book is out. Second book, second book, second book. Living Your Truth, a part of the Not Posted series. If you have not grabbed your copy, head to the link in the show notes, hit that purchase button, and get on the journey to living your truth, embracing the untold, identifying with things that you have just suppressed for years, and releasing them into the atmosphere, letting them go so that you can be the best version of you. That is important. That is my platform. That is what I embrace and love so much. It is not about your family. It's not about mom, dad, uncle, cousin, chicken, Bob, partner, none of that. It is about you and you being the best you that you can be. And in order to do that, I am a firm believer that embracing the things that have hurt you, releasing those things, releasing those bad vibes, and just being truthfully 100% yourself, it makes all the difference in your trajectory, in your career, in how you deal with others, in how you deal with negativity, 
with how you deal with stress and so forth and so on. So I challenge you to join me on that journey of living your truth and embracing your untold story. Um, if you follow the link, there is an opportunity on there for you to purchase the bundle where you get um, the two already released books and then the PDF version of the series of the untold. So challenging you to do that, not for me, but for you. Furthermore, there have been some trials this summer. I mean, trying times, y'all. And so my advice from my experience is to trust the process, but trust your higher being and your higher power also in the process. Because sometimes curveballs come just to see how you swing, right? Um, Just imagine if you play softball or baseball, you'll completely understand. If you didn't, just imagine with me that you're up to bat. And the pitcher knows, you, you've played this team a few times, so the pitcher knows what um, what ball patterns you kind of get conflicted with, right? They know if they throw a curveball, if they pitch underhand, or they uh, pitch it a little fast, they know that you're going to get a little uneasy. So they throw the ball at you in such a way that you aren't able to easily hit the ball right they throw the ball in such a way to intimidate you or to make you um second guess yourself or to challenge your ability to actually hit the ball right life does the same thing sometimes it throws a ball at us in such a way that we aren't supposed to be able to hit the ball but trusting the process and knowing our own personal ability and exerting what we already learned helps us to knock it out the park okay so i want you to think of life as that ballpark right now and think about the curveballs that are coming to you think about when you're in the outfield and people keep hitting these pop-ups and you keep missing them you keep missing them you keep missing them just lean on what you already know the skills you know you have and trust your higher being and i promise you that you will knock them out the park and you will catch every pop-up, all right? So that's what I'm leaving with you leaving with you today on the Welcome Back episode. I cannot wait to be in your earbuds continually. I'm not going to promise that I'll be back next week, but it is my dear and dire hope to be back with you next week. I have content for the rest of the fall, and I can't wait to share it with you. Have an awesome day. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh,